press. Our candidates for the November 11, 2023 governorship election, Alhaji Ahmed Usman Ododo, has remained uncompromisingly committed to an issue based campaign that is devoid of violence, ethnocentric narratives, or divisive tendencies. Under the leadership of the campaign chairman, His Excellency Alhaji Yahya Bello, CON, and the Director General, Honorable Minister Prince Shaibur Abubakar Audu, our campaign has been peaceful, uniting, and a true reflection of the enduring legacies that have kept our party at the apex of political performance in our dear state. Issue-based campaign entails tailoring our promises, assurances, and social contracts with the peace-loving people of our dear state through the media to the people. Ododo Ahmed Usman, OAU, wants the people of the state to be convinced by the legacies of the system he's set in, his promises of consolidation and continuity, his antecedents and competence, as well as his message of unity. His claim to these ideals is iron cast. We have invited you today to brief you of certain development as we race to November 11, 2023. Chief among them was the gruesome murder of an unarmed woman at Koton Karufi by people suspected to be the armed talks of the candidate of the Social Democratic Party, Alaji Moritala Yakubu Ajaka. Why we commiserate with the family and the entire people of Kotokarufi? We call on security agencies to ensure that those who threatened to kill on national television and went ahead to kill have undoubtedly declared war on the Nigerian state whose responsibility it is to protect the poor woman who was killed by bullets from the barrels of the SDP rifles. It is on record that the SDP candidate already said the commissioner of police was not aware of his rally. The rally was a satanic ambush on the peace-loving people of Kotonkarufi, living in its wake the blood of an innocent woman whose only sin was belonging to the All Progressives Congress. We call on the supporters of our party to remain calm as security agencies are trusted to ensure that killers don't walk freely without consequences. The Kogi State APC Campaign Council will await the full reports of the security agencies. The initial statement of the police authorities have been reassured. There must be justice for the murdered soul. It is high time Kogai called the blood-sucking campaign of the SDP to order. Even in the face of glaring provocation, our party and our campaign will remain peaceful and plain according to the rules of the game. The unguarded, inflammatory, and acidic statements of the SDP candidate, Alhaji Muritala Yakubu Ajaka, on national television have not gone unnoticed. What is of surprise to us is how he gets away after calling a whole ethnic group a common enemy. He also said they were ready for violence. His utterances and actions are not supported by the electoral law of the land. And we are sure INEC and relevant authorities have taken note of this. His campaign has been divisive and inciting, yet he walks around spreading the propaganda of him being hunted. They commit visible crimes and turn around to play the victims. The quietness of the law enforcement agencies has emboldened him to spill the blood of an innocent woman. His desperation in the face of looming humiliation at the polls 
has undoubtedly put him in a very dangerous corner. Only Muritala Yakubu and the talks he moves around with think he has a chance. Conduct your poll in Kogu State today and even in Igala Land. You will find out that he is not even near the top two contenders in the forthcoming governorship election. The reason is that the good people of Igala Land, having followed his activities over the years and knowing that he lacks the intellectual capacity to represent them, would rather go with responsible candidates. He is not even near the list of hopeful contenders. He will be roundly defeated at the poll, and he will still account for his sins against humanity. We salute the people of Kudunkalfi for their perseverance and calm in the face of an unprovoked invasion and murder. We assure you of justice. The murder won't die in vain. Morita Raya Kubu Ajaka must pay for the blood of the innocent woman. In his characteristic way, the SDP candidate through his media handlers and had claimed the poor woman was bearing arm. But he never showed us the arm she was bearing. The claim was a desperate attempt at sweeping the mother they committed under the carpet. You don't kill the people who hold the contrary belief to yours. It was crude, criminal, and callous. Also, our attention has been drawn to calls by some hired guns calling on the Director General of the Campaign Council, Honorable Minister Prince Shaibul Abubakar Audu, to resign his appointment, citing divisive reasons for the call. The Director General of the Campaign Council is committed to executing a campaign that will usher in the Ududu era of consolidation and continuity. No amount of ethnic parity can distract the politically sagacious Minister of Steel Development, Honorable Minister Prince Shaibu Abakaudu, from the historic task ahead. His late father, Prince Abubakar Aoudu, was committed to a united, prosperous, and peaceful Kogi state. The Director General is only following his footsteps. It is obvious that the rising profile of the Minister and his unassailable roads into the hearts of the people of Kogi state has become the nightmare of these befuddled politicians. On the Supreme Court case between our candidates and Senator Smart Adeyemi, we have chosen to be involved we have chosen not to be involved in prejudice. Hence, we will not make any serious comments on it. It is before a competent court of jurisdiction and they will determine whether his claims are justiciable or not. Our lawyers have shown proofs of the fact that bribery was held. The lower court and the appeal court agreed with them. We will await the Supreme Court verdict. Thank you and God bless you all.